Hello everyone. Welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. I'm Tom Baker. Sheldon Creed had another nice run in the NASCAR Gander Outdoor Truck Series over the weekend, this time at the Iowa Speedway. Creed started 12th and ran a smooth and competitive race all day long to finish in the sixth position. He and the rest of the Truck Series will head to Missouri now to compete at Worldwide Technologies at Gateway Speedway this coming weekend. Jesse Love jumped back into the seat of his KKM Midget for several shows this week as part of Illinois Midget Week. The problem is the liquid sunshine reappeared, keeping the number of race events to a minimum for the week. Jesse did, however, get his first ever podium in the KKM Midget, sharing the honor with two of his teammates after finishing third in a hotly contested event that saw him starting fifth. Jesse's next race will be back at Jacksonville in the midget this weekend. Joe Valento strapped into the Kelly Byers Racing prepared truck for the second time this season, this time taking on the famed Milwaukee Mile, and he nearly pulled off the win in his first time ever at the track. He was fastest in practice, fastest in qualifying, but got the worst end of a 10-spot invert and started the feature from the 10th position. He worked his way through the field to finish a strong second place in his first time ever on a mile track. Joe's next race will be this Saturday with his Legends car back at the Elko Speedway. Connor Mozak finished fourth at the Anderson Speedway on Friday and 10th at the Greenville Pickens Speedway on Saturday, both in South Carolina, in his late model. He will take on the challenging Hickory Motor Speedway this coming Saturday night. Colby Sokol and his brother Justice raced at Sooner Speed Week in Oklahoma, a 600 micro sprint buffet of five races in five days. Colby qualified for every feature, had a series high finish of third, and collected three top tens on the week. Justice also successfully started all five features won a B-Main at Port City and had several top 15 finishes. Another highlight for Justice was starting on the pole at Arcoma. He actually led part of the race before a pesky old tie rod came loose on the car. The next race for both Colby and Justice will be a non-wing event at El Paso County. Jake Bowman had a spectacular two nights of racing at the Las Vegas Bullring. He qualified first with his Legends car, then led for 20 laps before losing the lead briefly and charging back for the win in the first race. In the next race on Saturday, Jake tied a Pro Division racer for the fastest qualifying time, drew a seven for his feature starting position, stormed his way through the field to take the lead on lap 10. He lost the lead briefly to a Pro Division racer on lap 20, but took control back for good on lap 23 and went on to the victory. This was the first time that Jake had won both races in a weekend at the Bullring, a commendable performance for the youngster. Cassidy Hines ran two micro-sprint shows over the weekend, finishing 8th in non-wing and 16th in winged competition at Cam Raceway in Nebraska on Friday. On Saturday, she ventured over to the I-76 Speedway in Fort Morgan, Colorado, and started seventh in the feature. She advanced all the way to fourth before a bobble cost her some positions and she finished 10th. Cassidy will be back in action in Calhoun, Colorado this weekend. Jaden Walbridge competed in round five of the Junior Late Model Series at the Bullring. He qualified first and led all 30 laps to get the win. He'll be back in action at Madeira Speedway in California on June the 29th. Heading to the state of Washington, we find Bryce Bizanson all smiles after his finest run of the season at Evergreen Speedway in NASCAR Super Late Model Competition. He started eighth and finished seventh, making the night even more special was that Bryce's adopted Friends of Jacqueline Foundation family was on hand. Holly and the family had themselves a very special time enjoying Bryce's career best run in the stock car. His next start is a big one. The track summer showdown, 
Over 40 cars are already pre-entered for that event. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. If you missed any of our previous episodes, no worries. You can catch up just by going to raceface.tv on demand. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your community. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. Go out there and make it a safe and successful racing weekend. I'm Tom Baker. Thanks for watching.